I fought the law and the, the law won. Sorry, Tyler, I had to throw that in there. Who knows if you want to put that in there, but I don't, here's a, this is a weird hook video, right? This is the, the, the blue law video. So here we go, we're just gonna go. Work. I'm a local real estate expert right here in the state of Massachusetts with the Legacy Star Team powered by Keller Williams Realty. Now, if this is the first time you've come to our channel, welcome or welcome back. Uh, what is it all about? We talk everything about Massachusetts. We talk eating, sleeping, drinking, playing, and some of the weird laws that we have on, uh, on the blue books or the blue laws they call them. So you have questions, we have answers, reach out any way possible. You definitely wanna click that subscribe button and hit that little bell so that when we make new videos, you're gonna get notified. And we always like little thumbs up because we appreciate the support. So reach out to us, like I said, any way possible. You gotta remember one thing, when it comes to Massachusetts, we've always got your back. All right, so today we have a fun one. Um, I just did another video and I was like, they're all fun, but here's a, here's a fun one. This one, uh, we, we pulled a pretty interesting one for this week. Um, actually, one of the people we work with uh, found this thing about the strange laws in Massachusetts and said, what do you think about this? And we said, yeah, that's pretty weird. Let's dive into it. So some of the, this, this, the resource on this is from only in your state. So uh, great resource, they give us all kinds of content. We find stuff all over the place from boston.com to just surfing the internet uh, or just what's up here in our minds and talking with the team. So it, it's interesting because they talk about, you know, the, the laws that we have on the books from a long, long time ago, like where do these come from, right? And back in the 1620s when the pilgrims first came, you know, they were trying to have a structured society. It doesn't, they don't really make any sense right now. And as I read through them, uh, you're gonna laugh, you're gonna be a little horrified. I know I was horrified reading some of these. Um, most of these are not enforced. Most of these people probably don't even know. However, they're blue laws that are on the books. So the first one that we found was that at a wake, mourners may eat no more than three sandwiches. So if you go to see you know, someone that's passed away, three sandwiches is your limit. If you get a fourth sandwich, you're in big trouble. Right, don't be shoving your face, like, you know, pay respect to the dead, eat your sandwiches beforehand, or wait till after and when everybody goes out together, uh, because we don't want you to get in trouble for eating four sandwiches at a wake. Keep that in mind. Okay, um, this one is really interesting as well. It is illegal to give beer to hospital patients, right? Um, violators will be fined up to $50 and sentenced to not more than two months in jail. So your buddy uh, is hanging out, you bring a beer into the hospital, you get arrested, for, you know, 50 bucks and uh, maybe two more, two months in jail. So don't be doing that either. That's a weird one. Um, this one I love, I think this is an interesting, interesting one as well. Snoring is prohibited unless all the bedroom windows are closed and securely locked. So that actually makes sense, right? Because if you're snoring, uh, someone opens up the window, the snoring sound is gonna go out. So if the window is locked, that is much safer for society and protecting our hearing. So that one, that one makes sense. I'm gonna follow that from now on. So um, I think I snore sometimes, so I'll have to talk to my wife and make sure she locks the windows. I, I'm not getting in trouble for that one. This one, um, yeah, they definitely don't arrest people for this because I've seen this all over the place, but there's an old ordinance declaring that goatees are illegal unless you first pay a special license fee for the privilege of wearing one in public. So I don't know what that license fee is. Uh, I'll throw the disclaimer out here now. We did not do a fact check on this. There's a lot of weird things. So this could be a bunch of malaki. I don't know, but I pulled this off the internet, so it must be true. Right, it's gotta be true. Now I've seen, I've seen some of these blue laws before, so some of them, most of them are true. Um, this one was absolutely, you know, this is a must back in the day. All men must carry a rifle to church on Sunday, right? Women, nope, you can't take a rifle. I wonder if they can take hand pistols or something like that, right? Maybe hammers, uh, I don't know. But the men, yeah, when you go to church, you're like, bring your rifle, because you don't know what's gonna happen. Things will get a little crazy, right? Praise, praise the Lord could get a little nuts. Um, this next one, I don't know how this got put into the books and I really should do some research on when this one went in, but this states that no gorilla is allowed in the back seat of a car. Mm -hmm. The next one is a, I'm cautious to say this one because this is a family channel. So there's a, there's a, some, you know what? 
I'm gonna strike it off there because I know there's a couple people that uh, just bought a house not too long ago and their whole family watched. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give innuendos, but there's some weird things here about um, the top. We'll just leave it there. Oh, being on top. What? Is, what? What? Okay. Um, okay. Uh, this is that. This one I agree 100%. Candy may not contain more than one percent alcohol. So chapter 270, section eight. Selling candy containing alcohol. Now, section eight says, whoever sells to a person any candy and clothing or containing liquid or syrup having more than 1% of alcohol shall be punished, yeah, shall be punished, shall be punished by a fine of no more than $100. So I wonder, was that, like, was that law put there because they didn't want the kids to eat it or uh, was that a pro prohibition time? It couldn't have been because like they prohibited all alcohol. So yeah, I, I, and I don't really, I take that back. I've seen jello shots that have alcohol in them. I don't know if there's a blue book law on that one. So uh, we'll have to dig into that one. Uh, this one, 100%, I can see how, the, you know, walking through the common today, this is really important, right? So no one can cross the Boston common without carrying a shotgun in case of a bear. Mm -hmm. The only bear you've seen is at the garden when you're watching the Bruins play. Woo, go Bruins. Okay, uh, here's another one. It's illegal to play the fiddle. Imagine that, right? Uh, this one is really, really important, and I want everyone to understand this one. Uh, duels to the death are permitted on the common on Sundays. However, the governor has to be present. So you can't be shooting each other without the governor be there, and it can only be on a Sunday. And there's a lot of events, so I, I don't really, I haven't seen any gun, gun duels um, as of late, so that's definitely an old law. Uh, this one is for more Concord, uh, Concord, Massachusetts. No one, you can't sell bottled or, um, you can't sell a distributed bottled water. Can't do that. That's illegal. Uh, this one, I really appreciate down in Marlboro, that They're on the money with this one. They have a law that one may not, oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Uh, one may not detonate a nuclear device in the city. That, I agree. I agree with that one. Um, this one, I don't know. This one's kind of... This is interesting, right? So all families must, this is over in Newton. So all families must um, be given a hog from the town's mayor. That seems like corrupt politics, right? Be like, hey, I get a hog, I'm gonna vote for that guy. I don't know, we'll have to look at this one. Um, okay, this one is 100% true. I think they should enforce this one today. Tomatoes may not be used in the production of clam chowder. Yeah. This ain't Manhattan. Get your tomatoes out of here. We don't want it in our chowder. We want potatoes, we want clams, and we want broth. Thick broth. Creamy, unhealthiness. Mmm. You could throw some bacon in there. Okay, uh, here's another one. This is really important. It's illegal to take a, in Boston itself, it is illegal to take a bath. It's illegal to take a bath without a doctor's prescription. And this one is very true. You know, we wanna make sure we protect our wildlife. It's illegal in Massachusetts to scare a pigeon. So if you'd like to do some research and seeing how much of those are true, definitely give us some feedback. I've heard some of those are some weird ones. Um, I took it, like I said, from the internet, so I know it's 100% true because everything that's on the internet is true, as I tell my kids. Okay, uh, so keep those things in mind when you come to Massachusetts. All right, so that's just a couple of weird things about laws in Massachusetts. Uh, if you're coming to relocate here or you're coming to visit or vacation, uh, don't call us about the laws. We don't want to talk about them. No, I'm just kidding. Call with any questions. You got questions, we got answers. Reach out to us any way possible. We appreciate you checking out the channel. Just remember, when it comes to Massachusetts, we've always got your back.